My name is Gina Rosero. As a trans-identifying fashion model, I know what it's like to struggle with your identity. Beautiful As I Want to Be is a series that gives young trans people the opportunity to define beauty in their own terms. They will get to work with an all-trans crew to create a photo that would reflect about who they are and their dreams. In this episode, we will meet Jenny and Aria, two friends who have been each other's support as they transition. They get a chance to work with two talented mentors to create an image that reflects their journey. Their friendship has inspired me as I hope it will inspire you. My name is Jenny Lee Cruz. So my name is Aria. I met Jenny when we were in elementary school. We were both from the same soil. We were both from the same circle. Whatever she went through separately and I went through separately in the daytime, like when we were finally together after school, we could just be open and free with each other. I realized I was trans probably when I was eight. I used to take blankets and like make them into a gown and then I used to take the tape out of cassette and just pull all of it out and make like a wig out of it. I was always feminine, like it was always like, it was just so awkward like being in my body. The vision of this photo shoot came about because I wanted to put my story and her story together. When I first met Arya, we were both kind of in a transition together, but it was very lost. And then when we both started getting close, that's basically when light happened, when ideas started erupting and when we became comfortable. And that's basically what the photo represents is me and her walking together through this journey, coming from a dark and like lost place into a light that we brought with each other. Beautiful as I want to be for me is just being proud and being confident in whatever kind of situation is dealt to you. I think it's important that Angelica and Jen are here to support Jenny and Aria. It goes to show you the importance in having a support system as we go through this journey as trans people. Angelica Ross is a leading figure in the movement for trans and racial equality. Jen Richards is a writer and actress. Appearing as a series regular in East IMK, these two have supported each other through physical transitions, the highs and lows of dating, and navigating their professional careers. Hi, Jen, right? Yes, hi. Jen, how are you? Angelica, right? Amazing. I mean, today's theme has always just been light. The white is light. I love yeah. that. So you get to finally shine your bright light mm -hmm. for everybody to see. Like, we're so feel? ready for this photo shoot. Are, are you guys going to help us out? Absolutely. Absolutely. We're gonna She's <laughs> experienced behind the scenes. I'm kind of experienced in front of the camera, but we work well together. We're both going to mentor you. This we'll is going to be amazing. Day. Well, let's do this. All right. Come on. We want to feel how you guys feel Good about vision. each other. Mm -hmm. I always like come back to that. That's what this shoot is ultimately about, is you guys' relationship. Yeah, they're very, very natural. Like goddesses, like the white, it's gorgeous. So how was that? Thank you guys so much. You looked amazing. How is it like being a teenager and having a friend with you that's going through the same thing? It made it so easy, like we're so blessed. Mm -hmm. Like the way that you just laid on her at the end of the photo shoot, like <laughs> we've done that to each other. Just like the like, girl, oh. Absolutely. <laughs> just, you just need that comfort of someone who totally gets you without explanation. This whole experience has just been empowering almost. Like to be surrounded by people that I don't know and to have them like feed me so much confidence it made me feel so beautiful. I definitely felt like I was part of a family. The way that you both shine your light, like I wouldn't stop at normal. People want to be normal because they think it feels comfortable. Mm. But you know, we get used to being uncomfortable and it looks really great when we can like stand in that uncomfortableness. So hopefully after this experience, you can move out into the world as beautiful as you see yourselves, as beautiful as you are, and as beautiful as you want to be. So much more than ever before. Yeah, I wish everyone can feel this way. <laughs> it's that confidence that we saw today in the photo shoot. Like, it's that confidence that they will need to face 
you know, the world and the obstacles. And if they have that, that will carry them through so much. I wish I had a friend like that at 16. We were women who have been told our entire life that we're monsters, that we're something that men should fear. So to be centered in a photo shoot and to be told you're beautiful and to have all that attention and to like see yourself reflected in a positive way it might seem superficial to others but i can guarantee it that will live with those girls my hope is that what were issues for us that we had to fight for they don't even give a second thought to i look at jenny and i look at aria and i like see the benefit of having that friendship it's just yeah. like i don't know as tough as things have been, I don't know what I would have done without you being there when I came home. Well, I love the idea that we have this base of, of friendship and a drive, and then we go off and we create opportunities for ourselves and for others. And then we keep coming back to each other and then going back and doing that kind of work. You know, Ari's in school, you know, Jenny is wants to be, you know, get into real estate. Like those are practical long-term goals. Like. They're of a generation where their lives don't have to be about their transness. It can be about their actual dreams as people. They were beautiful. Yeah, they were. They're sweet mm -hmm. kids.